driving into the town of Dover, a sign greets passers-by. Listed one by one, the Ten Commandments. Right in the middle, thou shalt not kill. What was the purpose? Why? Why those two? That sign, a painful reminder of two teenage sisters murdered. There were times when people were afraid to speak openly about this case. A mystery that decades later still haunts folks in town. That was totally unthinkable in this, this town at that time. If you want to start a conversation like that, you can bring up the unsolved murders of them, Carl Atkins, Vicki Stout. It's a conversation their surviving sister, Patricia Gordon, will keep on sparking. We don't know who's walking around out there that has information. It was the morning of September 17, 1980, a school day. The two girls left their home here outside of Dover, walking up Highway 79 to a convenience store. On their way back, that's when they disappeared. We kind of thought maybe they were just with some friends, just decided not to, you know, come back home when they should have. In the days that followed, local law enforcement labeled the sisters as runaways. I never knew them to disappear before. They, they just, they wouldn't do that. They had no reason to disappear. The story of the missing 14 and 16 year olds carried in newspapers all over the area. It's been the most baffling murder case that I've been associated with as a reporter. Covering it from the start, David R. Ross. There was this three week span where the girls were missing. Uh, the initial reports were that they were runaways. Three weeks of searching led to a gruesome discovery. Hikers came across the girls' bodies in what's now land between the lakes. Autopsy reports show they both died of a shotgun wound to the head. The only clue investigators seem to have. Some of the witnesses at the uh, convenience store said they were seen talking with a man in a blue truck. 35 years after the murders, investigators released sketches of that driver saying he was wanted for questioning. A year after that, in 2016, Governor Bill Haslam announced a $5,000 reward in the case for information that leads to an arrest. Still, no solid leads. I don't know how they can live with themselves, um, but they're able to live day to day, and we still have this, this question mark of who and why. But for the people of Stewart County and of Dover, hope is far from lost. I would like to see not only justice for this family, but justice for this community. They will get their justice someday. You know, they'll get what's coming to them, whether it be in my lifetime or not. Reporting in Stewart County, Josh Breslow, News 2.